Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Max Tu, and today we will be enjoying a song entitled Daybreak Tian Liang Le, performed by the one and only B Mash. Based on the original video description, he performed this in his Bastao or Basto concert, I'm not sure how you read it, in that concert in the year 2017. So before we dive into the video, I am inviting everyone to please follow me on Instagram at Max underscore two. At the same time, please subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Tube. To those who wish to enjoy the full video, the entire performance without my comments, please head to my description box and there is a link there that will bring you to the original video. Because as always, I will be pausing in between to give my honest observations and comments. Another option is you can watch the original video first before coming back to this one for my comments. Okay, let's start. By the way, this is a Mandarin Chinese song originally sang by Han Hong, a heartbreaking song about a child losing his parents. The parents sacrificing their own lives to give their child a second chance to live. If you want to read the entire backstory of this song, you might want to go to the channel of Gloria Wu. I just chose to react to this version because of your recommendations in my comment section. He is effectively setting the somber mood of the song, not only with his voice, but also with the way he walked, his body language, his facial expression, giving me a very gloomy, uh, disheveled vibe, which makes a lot of sense for this song. When he changed that tone in his voice from low to high, it's almost like he went back to his childhood, reliving the painful experience with all the scenes flashing back, playing in his head over and over again. Saying on that autumn day, on that fateful day, he saw his father alive for the very last time, the same day when he was given a new chance to live. It's just so heart-wrenching listening to this. <sighs> this part just gave me the chills. I'm hearing the voice of an innocent child pleading to his parents not to leave him. It's heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking.
This song embodies one of my worst nightmares. Well, safe to say, one of our worst nightmares. I know it is inevitable, but I really cannot imagine the pain of losing someone you love. And listening to him sing this last part, I can almost hear the mother's voice telling him there is hope beyond this tragedy, my child. The verse goes, one night he dreamt of his mother telling him to be strong now that he is alone in this world. I really cannot explain it because if you look at him, he's just singing the phrase. But for some reason, it hits me right here, right here in the heart. I guess that's the magic of his delivery. There is really something inexplicable in his voice, in the way he sings, which is a gift that not everyone has. And to think his diction uh, is not 100% accurate, I have to say that. So normally, I would be thrown off by this, but not in his case. His interpretation so far more than compensates for his diction. Wow, his voice is like a cry as he tries to reach out to his parents, filled with so much desperation, with hope slowly slipping away. That's what I'm getting from his delivery. The emotions in his voice, <sighs> some people might see this as mere vocal acrobatics as he goes really, really high. But for me, it's more than that. It really sounds like a desperate cry for his parents, trying to, uh, trying to bring back a moment in time that cannot be brought back. It's so, 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 so sad. I'm thinking this might not be the best decision I made today because watching this is making me really sad. And again, going down his register, it's like he was brought back to the present, mourning for his parents as a grown-up man. It's really unbelievable how good he is in using his voice to tell a story. By the way, I am literally just sharing with you my interpretation of his interpretation. So it might be different for you guys. I'm sure each of us will have different ways of interpreting this. And now he's giving me the pain just never leaves you, no matter how long ago this happened. 
this thing will always remain in your heart. It's like the helpless, yearning little child in him is erupting from within. And he has no way, no way of controlling it, no way to suppress the pain. On a technical side, it is amazing how he was able to retain control of his voice, keeping it stable when he landed on his knees, which must really hurt. I had to keep myself from tearing up all throughout this song. Otherwise, I wouldn't even be able to talk. Also, I don't think you guys are here to watch me sob. This song, Daybreak, might not have been written by him, but the way he owned it, the way he expressed it, he could have fooled me. It's like a song straight from his heart to mine. It was more than just believable. If I didn't read uh, the backstory, I would have thought it really happened to him. For me, his advantage of having a wide vocal range is not how he uses it to impress us, but how he uses it to express different emotions. People sometimes forget that singing is a form of storytelling another form of communication that said there are reasons why singers use different registers different tones different intensities vocal dynamics to convey specific emotions needed for specific parts of the song being impressed with someone's vocal range should only be secondary because ultimately we sing to express, not to impress. But in his case, he was successful in doing both. I am impressed because of the way he expressed. After watching this emotional delivery from Dimash, I urge everyone to pray for those who have lost their parents, their loved ones, for those who are on the brink of losing these people because it is the most permanent thing in the world when you lose your money you can at least earn them back little by little but when you lose a loved one it's permanent so let us take some time to comfort them and to pray for them if you are currently in this situation I am sending you all my love. Know that you are not alone. On a lighter note, please feel free to comment down below your thoughts and your own interpretation of this performance. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. With that, I thank everyone for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max2. Stay safe, healthy, and happy everyone. See you soon.